Jennifer Pulley, and welcome to NASA Connect, the show that connects you to math, science, technology, and NASA. We're here in sunny Virginia Beach, which is located in Virginia's Tidewater region. Now, in case you're not familiar with where Virginia Beach or Virginia's Tidewater region is located, let's take a look at a bird's eye view of our location. Virginia Beach is in the Tidewater region, located in southeastern Virginia. Virginia is part of the United States, which we all know is part of North America. The continent of North America is one of the seven continents on the planet Earth. Doesn't it appear that we are all interconnected in some way? On a global scale, have you ever wondered how the Earth really works? Now here, we can see the ocean, the beach, and the sky, not to mention all the people, animals, and marine life. They all play important roles in determining how our planet works. We can say that the Earth is whole, meaning that everything on the planet, inside and out, is interconnected. Say, do you know the branch of science that deals with studying how the Earth works? Well, if you said Earth science, you're getting warm. Scientists have established a new field of science called Earth System Science. The Earth is a system of individual parts that work together as a complex whole. Now, in order to understand this concept, we need to know what a system is, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, throughout the program, you will be asked several inquiry-based questions. After the questions appear on the screen, your teacher will pause the program to allow you time to answer and discuss the questions. This is your time to explore and become critical thinkers. Students, take a few minutes to answer and discuss the following questions. What is a system? What are some examples of a system? Choose one system and draw a picture with its parts labeled. It's now time to pause the program. So what is a system? We use the word system when we want to describe something that is made up of different kinds of parts. These parts join together to form an interconnected whole. Was your definition similar to this one? Learning to think systematically is very useful because all sorts of systems surround us. In fact, each of us is our own complex system. For example, each of us is made up of more than 200 kinds of cells. These skin, bone, blood, gland, nerve, and muscle cells all join together to form an incredible system, an individual human person. Looking at ourselves as a system reveals two important features of systems. One, each part of a system can itself be described as a smaller system or subsystem. Two, a system can be very different from its parts. Let's look at the first feature. Each part of a system can also be described as a subsystem. One of the parts of a human system is the circulatory system. This system moves blood throughout your body. However, the circulatory system itself is a system with many parts. The parts of the circulatory system include the heart, veins, arteries, and blood cells. The heart is also a system made of parts. These include muscle cells, nerve cells, and valves. You can go even further and concentrate on the heart muscle cell. The heart muscle cell is made of a cell membrane, cell nucleus, and many different proteins. Phew! You could go crazy breaking down all those systems. And you know, in case you didn't realize, we are not the biggest system around. The human system is actually part of the system of life, which is part of the planet Earth. And the planet Earth is part of the solar system. Are you with me so far? So you see, each part of a system can itself be described as a system. The second system feature states that a system can be very different from its parts. A school bus is another example of a system. A school bus has hundreds of parts, such as the frame, engine, wheels, gas tank, and seat. Individually, none of these parts will get you from your home to school and back. Joined together as an interconnected whole, the bus system can take you back and forth to school. The school bus has properties that are different from the properties of its parts. No part of the school bus has the ability to transport you. Only the bus functioning as a whole system has these properties. So, did you come up with some good examples of systems? Now that you have an understanding of what a system is, how can you apply the concept of systems to learn more about how the Earth works? Recall the two features about systems. Number one, each part of a system can itself be described as a system. 
and number two, a system can be very different from its parts. Okay guys, I have three questions I want you to try and answer before we continue with the program. What do you think are the parts of the Earth system? How do the parts of the Earth system you identified work together to make Earth function as a whole? How is the Earth system itself part of larger systems? Compare your answers to all three questions with others in your class or group. As the teacher pauses the program, keep in mind the two features about systems. How did you do with those questions? You know guys, NASA has come to understand that the only way to really comprehend the workings of our planet is to view the Earth as a whole system.